This is cotton felt. This is actually two and a half ounce. Um, if you want a thicker covering, you could use a four ounce cotton felt. It does have a stabilising backing to it, um, which these days, instead of being made of paper like it used to be, is actually quite a substantial, tough polyester. So that can be left on there. Now we're going to take our spring unit that we cut ready earlier and it needs wrapping in both directions with the felt. So handle it very carefully or it will break and wrap it around your spring unit. so tough this backing you'll need to cut the backing with a pair of scissors but this can be broken away with your fingers in fact it's better if it is and you can see that's going to join together there now we're going to need to wrap it in the other direction as well this all looks rather big and you may be thinking this is never going to go inside of that cover. I assure you it will. And it will be a very substantial cushion when we finished. I'll handle this very carefully. This is where you can see we actually can close the ends together. You may find you need to take some away from the corners, but don't do it yet, not until you know what you need and it's inside the boxing. As you can see, I've been pushing this into the boxing. Make sure you have plenty in the corners. If there isn't enough, you can always take some excess that you've torn off and make sure those corners are completely full and extended to a square corner. No shame in putting a bit of extra in. Don't make it feel lumpy though. It should feel as though it's a continuation of the filling we're putting in there. As you can see, it's now all contained inside our cover. It's all pinned together. I prefer to use the pins as skewers. They're less likely to stick in you as well. And it does all go in. As you can see, it's a lovely, resilient cushion. One of the purposes of these cushions is if you have a very hard base, a wooden base, um, with no, little or no springing underneath, uh, bed settees where they can be quite uncomfortable because you can't do a spring beneath the cushions because the unit for the bed is in the way. These cushions can be perfect in those conditions because they look nice, they keep their shape, it will sink a little but that was the reason for pushing the cotton felt in the way we did because there'll be less to shrink in now. Um, but they don't bottom out. If you have a piece of foam you've got to have it really deep to stop it bottoming out and then probably reasonably firm which doesn't make it comfortable to sit on. If you use a feather or a fibre filling, there's no resilience at all and they will completely bottom out and be very uncomfortable. Both feather and fibre fillings need a well upholstered base as a seat cushion. This however has now got its own springing, it's resilient, it will spring back when you sit on it and make a very comfortable cushion. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to sew this together. We're going to use a simple ladder stitch or slip stitch just to sew these edges around now. So I'm using a strong linen barber's thread here with a high breaking strain. You can't use ordinary thread doing this stitch because you have to pull it tight and it would just break. As you can see, I've just started here where my machine stitching ended and I'm taking one side from 
the fabric that's overlapping and one from the fabric that it is overlapping. So now we're going onto the overlapping fabric. Remember, only take one side of it at a time and pull it tight. And then we're going back into the fabric for the top of the cushion, pulling it tight. And as you can see, it's going to disappear and you'll hardly see the stitches when we finished. Not that it would really matter because this is the inside cushion but you don't want it coming on undone or being insecure or altering the shape. So I've made sure I've tucked in only my half inch seam allowance. If you do half inch here, an inch there, a quarter of an inch there, your boxing on your cushion will go up and down. So it's important that this turning is equal all the way around equal to your machine stitching and I'm using here a fine semicircular needle this is a 3 inch 19 gauge semicircular needle because it's got a nice sharp point and it's allowing me to pierce just the fabric that I want all sewn around our finished cushion now all you need to do now is make a box cushion cover for that, preferably with a zip in, and I would make the zip come not just across the back but around the corner because it's fairly firm and you'll find it difficult to put in if you don't do that. So you need a zip coming round the sides to an extent there. Um, your box cushion cover should be fractionally smaller than this. So if this is 22 by 21, then you would make your cover 21 and a half by 20 and a half, so that it's just fractionally smaller.